718. And you know what? We're almost at mid-August, right? Just finishing the first week of August. So school really is right around the corner. I think it's actually started for some school districts. Yep. Yeah. So uh, we want to talk about what you should be knowing. So those going off to college, they pretty much are all set. They've got all their shopping done, their transition applied to schools. But what about your rising seniors? So Michael Trevet is here with College Transitions to let us know what we should be thinking about very early on at the start of the school year, especially when it comes to those seniors. Welcome to the show. Back Thank to the you. show. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, okay, so parents have their high school schoolers or rising seniors, what do they need to know going into the school year? Well, college season is now upon us. Uh, August 1st has passed. Uh, many applications have now gone live. So um, the first thing that rising seniors need to do as they go back to school is, is kind of like finalize that list of prospective colleges, start the application process. So what we do at College Transitions is we help students and families through the entire college application process from start to finish finalizing that list, brainstorming essay topics, writing the essays, um, coaching them through that process as well. Um, but also doing other things like requesting letters of recommendation, um, standardized test prep, guiding them through um, what they need for each school they're going to be applying to. So um, there's a lot that they certainly need to focus on, but try to do as much as you can early in the fall semester. That way you set yourself up to have a successful uh, application submission process. Sounds like a one-stop a one shopping, if yeah. you will, because you guys also have a book out, correct? That's right. It's called The Enla uh, Enlightened College Applicant. Um, it's going to be released by Robin and Littlefield on September 1st. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically it's a how-to guide for, for what to do um, when, when searching out colleges, what you need to focus on, things like which colleges and programs provide the biggest return on investment, um, other things as far as like focusing on uh, different programs and, and what you need to be thoughtful about. So uh, th there's a lot of good things focused on in the book that we use data and research to kind of bring to the forefront and say, parents, students, these are the most important things when looking at different colleges and what you should be focused on as you enter the college application process. So let's kind of delve into your mind a little bit for, yeah. for students who are really having a tough time narrowing down that list. Like what should they be thinking for and looking for in colleges to kind of get that process underway? The best fit for you, really. Mm -hmm. Um, what you're looking out of your college experience, what you want to get out of your college experience, whether that be programs, the size of the college, uh, international study abroad opportunities, uh, community service, things like that. So there are so many different schools out there, over 3,000 four-year institutions across Ooh. the country. And uh, there, there's a school for everybody, but there's not just one. There's mm -hmm. many. You know, they can be big, they can be small. And so when you're looking at different colleges that apply to, you need to kind of have all these different things in the back of your mind. What's really the best fit for me? And so we really try to help students find those good fit colleges. So those are for all the parents and students who might be a little more organized. What about the procrastinators? How late can they go into the school year before they're pretty much up against that deadline, last that, deadline? That's a great question. So late deadlines are going to be early in the spring semester, so after students return um, after January. But for the procrastinators, and we get a lot of parents that are procrastinators too. You know, they, they call us and they say, you know, we thought we had a good... Uh, handle the process and, and now we realize we, we really need help so um, but for the procrastinators certainly it's better to not do that and get us get a start on the process in August September October because the first deadlines like USC Chapel Hill um, October 15th um, so that's an early deadline and it comes up pretty quickly comes up fast Mr. Yeah. Trevette thank you so much you. here from College Transitions with news you can use so there you go folks make sure you get those uh, students to narrow down their selections and get going on the rest of that process